Let's fucking go! We're going live! Catch me if you can, I'm on the mess fight! This time, we're on fire! We keep the six for a minute and we're ready to go haywire! Keep me nose clean, sick of tripping up a penny trying to intervene! I have got to break free! Hi guys, again this is Jay from the 0161. Tonight we are joined by um, an unearthed band. We're joined by Ben, or both Bens, and Zen from the Mighty Solar Shift. How you doing boys, you alright? Hello. Hello. How's it going? How you doing guys, everything all okay? Good. good. All good, well, you know, good, good considering like, but yeah. yeah. Good as can be. Not too bad. Yeah. I know, it's fucking shit and it's staying in, mate. Fucking hanging on, so. But, um... Yeah, well. Yeah, so just um, just to start us off, guys, um, just give us a bit of a brief history about Solar Shift, um, when you started and uh, why. Who, who influenced you to start your band? Oh, you're going to have to let Ben take that one, mate. <laughs> yeah, I, think. Go on, ben. Well, I knew that was going to come my way. Um, <laughs> so I, I've been, been in bands for quite a few years now. Um, I was previously in a band called... Well, you've been alive for quite a few years, haven't you? So, <laughs> you <know. laughs> yeah, didn't you, didn't you? At least I look pretty without a tea cosy on my head. <laughs> interrupted. So yeah, I've been doing it for a few years uh, and then I bumped into Zen uh, with uh, his cousin Eddie uh, and we did a, a bit of a sort of a punk outfit called uh, WLD a good few years back and that didn't work out for me. It wasn't really my cup of tea. So yeah. I left that with a view to trying to set up something more in line with what I fancy doing. Anyways, WLD folded and that, and, and I put an advert out on uh, joinmyband.com, uh, and Dean responded to it, our drummer. Um, so I had a chat with Zen and Eddie, and they both agreed to come down for a bit of a jam. So we all met up, and we all really got on. Eddie decided not to uh, continue with it, um, but we did, fortunately. I remember me and Zen walked out giving it sort of like, God, I, I hope he comes back again. He's spot on for what we want, but... yeah. He, sort of walked away and said the same thing about us apparently so uh yeah one thing led to another and then um a few singers down the line here we are with benji yeah mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> first time he ever stepped on stage i believe um, it's very it's very true it's very I've true got, i've got a video I'd of a few, like, <laughs> yeah I, i'd had a few like sort of i i, I like i'd been in a few bands but it was always the case where we'd meet up we'd have a couple of jams we might even record a song or two but just never never really kind of found that little sort of X factor, that magic touch to kind of just push it to the next thing. Luckily for me, when Solar Shift's previous singer left, they were they just recorded this new EP. They were out ready to rock and everybody was still kind of itching to be recording and itching to write. So yeah. luckily I walked in at like just that sort of right sort of magic moment of everybody saying, look, we've got a band, it's rolling. Let's make it happen. So yeah, luckily for me, did you have yeah. a fortnight to learn the set? <laughs> I'm not even sure it was that. You wanted to join in my band? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Cool, cool, cool. We've got a yeah. gig in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, just make, yeah. make some up. <laughs> <laughs> who, um, who, who, who influenced you then? Who, who influenced each, each one of you? Um, is there a musician, a musician that influenced you? Do you know what? Pick up your that, is the, that is the beautiful part of Solar Shift, is that we all... We, we, we meet on certain bands, but we've all got, like, massively different musical yeah. tastes. Yeah, so, like, right. I'm, well, I'm into, like, like Deftones. Yeah, yeah. So, we all, we all meet all in the middle of that sort of Deftones-y, new metal sort of sound. We can, all, we can all get on with that. So, that influences a lot of our stuff. You will hear a, a lot of sort of deftones sounding stuff. Um, but me, for example, I listen to I listen to a lot of metalcore, so I listen to a lot, lot, of, lot of the heavier stuff, like, uh, Dean's into a lot of that as well. So D- Dean likes his slightly more proggy, melodic sort of metalcore. He likes a lot North of like Lane, stuff like that. And that. Yeah, yeah, North yeah. Lane era, that sort of shit. Um, and then these two, they're they're all over the shop as well. <laughs> yep, all over the shop. Eighties, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, absolutely everything. Reggae, yeah, big Luther Vandross fan, I believe is then. Who isn't? I love Who a isn't? bit of Luther Vandross. Can't be it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So um, obviously, uh, you know, COVID's kicked in. Um, how many um, gigs or what? What gigs stand out to you that you've had cancelled or festivals? Wembley. Um, that was, that really, that <laughs> really, uh, 
We had to um, we had to turn down headline headline in download. Um, <laughs> you know, you know, it's been a tough year. Isn't it? I, I think the big ones are probably going to be. It, I mean, it's it's only one tour for the time being. There was another one in the works, which is probably never going to see the light of day, just due to when we were booking it. Yeah. Um, and the fest went down tomorrow. It's supposed um, to have been on. Isn't it? Yeah, United against Hate went down. Um, there's been a couple of gigs with yourself, James, with the 0161 and so on, which have gone down. I, 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 how much time have you got? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a, at this point, it's a year's worth of gigs, isn't it? And if we yeah. say that on average, we we gigged once every sort of two weeks, so yeah. roughly. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, averaged out once every two weeks. Yeah, you're looking at 20, 25 gigs that have just, just been, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, been an obviously you've, um, you know, we've done a few, so you've, you've, you have done them with us. What's your, uh, your guys' views on um, like social distance events, live streams? You know, you've done, you've played for us at, at Whittles and stuff. Um, for a long, for a long time, I think we were all fighting them, thinking we don't really want to get involved. We'd rather wait until we can come back with a bang sort of thing. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, at this point, and I'm sure you and everyone else feels the same, you just take what you can get at the minute, don't you? Yeah, you know, yeah, if we it. were going to play a gig to a room of one person, we'd do it. <laughs> We've done that before, I believe, anyway. <laughs> before that. Then, there were at least two people there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, maybe yeah, it's we'll, just we'll... like, like, like Ben Ben said, it's take what you can get. And obviously, it's not the same as all being able to run around in a pit or whatever. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's 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 true. I mean, obviously, we've had we've had, we've asked quite a few bands. Uh, obviously, we've had loads that have done it, but some just couldn't do the the sort of like the the social distance, the sitting down, the the like you know even the live streams because they need an audience in front of them, they need a pit, they need someone to get a pit going, and you know, so it's mm. like. I think is it. I mean, it's going to be. Surely, this is probably going to be the future for quite a while. I mean, COVID's here forever. I imagine so. Yeah, yeah COVID's going to be here forever, isn't it? So, you know, it's just yeah. sadly, it's just one of them things. Um, but obviously, because of the no gigs, you know, not no played nothing for quite a while. Um, has it give you time to like come up with new ideas, new material, write new material? Yeah, yeah definitely. Absolutely. De- definitely gave us a, a kick to get this next EP on the go. So yeah. we've got of tracks that are uh, in, in the works now. We're back in the studio next month. So shout out to Oscar from Infinite Audio, who is the man. Um, and so we're back in the studio next month doing those. And then, to be honest, as I reckon, we, we've spoken about it for a little while, and I'm hoping that when, it, when we're allowed to sort of see a few different people be in a room with a few different people, I reckon it's a really good idea for us that, that we've kind of played with for a little while is we might just get a little log cabin somewhere in Scotland or the Lake <laughs> yeah. and go and set up for a week and try and write some tunes. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be I think that'd work really well for us. So it's probably something that we'll look into in the future. But yeah, no, we're absolutely not we've not come to a full stop by any stretch. We start yeah. at log cabins, we'll end up in a tent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um obviously I'm guessing you've still you've you know you've got um a few a few gigs or festivals booked for Maybe later in the year, have you um, have you got a few things like butts up that you're hoping to to get in? As far as I can see, a lot of the bigger stuff has been postponed rather than yeah. cancelled. So yeah. Hammerfest has been postponed. United Against Hate has been postponed. Both tours have been postponed. So that's not too bad. I would imagine that they'll just stay sort of on the back burner until we can we can pull the trigger. Um, there's a, there's a couple of other a couple of other bits that have cancelled, but. Speaking with um, Liam from Unearth, who are, who are our management, um, they, they've got some really, really exciting shit planned, like some, some proper, proper good stuff. They are, they've got sort of fingers in all the right pies and they're, they're, they're going to be bringing some really, really good shit. So I reckon you watch that space. The, the shout out to Unearth, they're, they're going to be pulling in some good shit in the future. Yeah. Well, just give you know, let us um, let people know just what made you um, sign to Unearth. What was it about the guys, about Liam and, and the guys that um, made you jump on board with them? Uh, well, we, we saw we'd we'd seen um, Liam knocking around, just you know, the Facebook posts and things like that, and just it, it kind of catches your eye from time to time. And then um, he was looking for new bands, 
So we sent him a, sent him an email over, just like a dead sort of pretty sort of simple cursory email, just to say, I mean, well, what 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 does this mean? What what's this going to mean for us? What's it going to mean for you? What you know? What can you offer? All that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I believe it was me and Zen, and we were sat in we were sat in a pub um, yeah. on a on a video call with Liam, and. We, do you know what Liam? He's just a he's just a solid, nice, honest. I think we just fella. we yeah. just clicked, didn't we? Like when we had that interview, and mm. it just kind of clicked. Yeah, um, seemed like a nice, nice guy, and um, he was obviously knows what he's doing. So, yeah, thought, we'd give, yeah, why not give it a go? Yeah, well, I mean, we've been we've asked- we into a couple. Of, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry we've looked into no. a couple of different options and stuff. Um. And you know there are there are certainly management companies out there who, who are bigger and more expensive and all that sort of stuff. Of course there is. You know there's always somebody bigger than you. But and the thing is with Liam is that he's just I, I, as I say I think the thing for us is just that kind of honesty, like just just straight down the line sort of thing. Liam but Liam doesn't fool you with any bullshit. He's, yeah. he's not gonna he's not gonna promise anything he can't deliver. Yeah. But the stuff that he can deliver, he does it like to just a degree like I've never seen like we, we've we I'm sure you won't mind me saying we we um had a little bit of a a little bit of an issue with our latest track that we're just about to drop which yeah. we may well have dropped by the time this interview is on Facebook bear in mind yeah. but um we had a little bit of an issue with that getting um some, some of the peripheries sorted with it and it kind of got to a couple of days before and I could see that Liam was stressed and I could see that that Liam was like I, you know he said to me he said I'm not a last minute guy this is really really getting to me but Liam literally he just went right do you know what we're not doing it this way anymore I'm going to wade in I'm going here and we're going to do it this way instead leave it with me I'll have it sorted sure enough 24 hours later I'm getting messages off Liam saying I've got a better another way it's sorted don't worry about it and that to me it's just stuff that you can't get anywhere else. That to me is just a lad who just says, "Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pour everything into this and, and just get it get it sorted, no matter what it takes." Yeah. And and that that means a lot to to us and probably to a lot of other small bands. Just somebody you can sit and have a conversation with. You know, it's not going to give you any bullshit, and he's he's just gonna he's just gonna put some passion into you, and that's that's what we need. Yeah, I mean. We got asked. Um, we've been asked quite a few times about you know because of we've um, partnered up with Unearthed. Um, so we've got into partnership with him, obviously, as everyone knows. And it's like, the answer is basically simple. It's like, you know, he's got the same love for the underground and what we have. You know, he's you can tell. That's what he's about. He looks after the bands. Obviously, I know he looks after you guys really well and mm. the rest of the bands on the roster. So this one, them, I think he's, you know, like you said, he's the guy's a straightforward guy as well. He just tells you straight, which is great. It's what you need, in it? You don't need someone to be pussyfooting about. No, no, not at all. I, I think that is, like I say, that was actually one of the most important things for us yeah. is we thought, you know, there are, there are obviously all these other sort of management agencies and all sorts of shit out there and, and they can, they, they promise this and they promise that and they charge this much money and they charge that much money and there's, there's all these different, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking minefield out there for yeah. like anybody who's kind of starting out in, in the industry or, or whatever it is, it's, it's, it's difficult to sort of work, work out where to go with what. But just somebody who, who will just say, this is who I am. This is what I can do. Does that work for you? Like that to me is just, and I know that for like people like Ben and Zen, who just, the conversations that we have, like yeah. we, it's just who we are as, as people. It's who we are as a band. We just haven't got yeah. time for your shit. Yeah, like yeah, just, just tell me what you want. Tell me what you want me to do. And I'll just do that. And it's like, it, is, it, it works for us. It works for us, and Liam works for us, and he's just he's just a solid dude. And he, he just honestly, if you if you're watching this interview, you're an underground band, you don't know where to go. Yeah, hit him up. The guy just he, I mean, even if you're not sort of his cup of tea and you wouldn't fit in his roster or whatever, he's just he's got contacts in the right places. He knows all the right sort of shit in the industry. He knows the right people in the industry, and he just it, it'll just point you in the right direction. He's yeah, I can't I can't speak to Liam highly enough. A really, really solid guy. Yeah. Really like. I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, just to um, just to kind of round it up, just um, the events that you have got booked up this year. Just give a bit of a shout out to the um, some of the events that you just want to um, that you guys are on. Some of the lineups. We we got some we got some A stuff. Obviously, whether it goes ahead this year is another matter entirely. Yeah. Uh, but we've got a couple of secrets. 
which I can't tell you about yet. Right. But shout out to you because you know who you are. Um, we've got uh, we've got the we've got the tour, which is hopefully going to go ahead a little bit later on. Um, which um, that's going to be ace again. Shout out on Earth and the bands that are jumping on that with us. Specifically in Manchester, we've got our boys in Clash Mutant Trailer Ruin. Absolutely. Um, if you don't know who they are, go and check them out. They're awesome. Uh, so that's going to be a wicked show because it's a hometown show with yeah. the bands that we spend a lot of time with. Mm-hmm. Um, there's we with any luck Hammerfest, which is now actually going to be next year, but you know early part of next year. So that's that's going to be a wicked lineup. Um, you know against Hate Festival again. Shout out that that's going to be wicked. We've got our boys in forty thousand leagues in that. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, so yeah, some some really exciting stuff coming up. Um, could do you guys have I forgotten anything? I was going to say, I'm just glad you said all that because to be honest with you, I did. So, <laughs> this is <laughs> kind of all over the time. <laughs> <you know, laughs> <but. laughs> you just get a text in the morning. Like, I just send a group text out at nine o'clock in the morning and say, don't forget, you've got to be here at this time. And everyone just goes, yep, yeah, no worries. <laughs> I always come out with busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, um, just point everyone in your in the direction of your socials. Let people know where they can, uh, where they can get you, find you. Uh, Which category are yeah. we on now? Solar Shift. What, are the, what are the links? Um, Solar Shift Music, I believe, is the Instagram one. Forward slash Pornhub at something or other. Facebook, you can find us. Just just under, like, that's Shift. the reason we yeah. came up with the band name. It's really easy to find. It is, yeah. Shift, really. no, no spaces, though. No spaces. No spaces. No spaces. <laughs> it's not Solar Shift. It's Solar Shift. <laughs> Raging. We actually look at the stickers and then no one knows what we are. <laughs> Right, guys. Well, um, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, yeah, can, us, man. Hopefully, um, well, what we spoke about off camera before, hopefully we can maybe sort that out for later on this month. Um, yep. But we'll see. Um, but this, but there's a good chance that this interview will go out afterwards anyway. So, you know, we don't know. Okay. Exactly. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. And uh, right. hopefully see you soon. Right. Yeah, cheers, dude. Right. Yeah. All, cheers. Cheers. All the best. Bye, see you later, guys. See you later. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having us. No worries, mate. No worries. Get the fuck up!